Autonomous surveillance is used to perform surveillance in far-flung disaster struck areas to identify the ground objects and to communicate with the rescuers. Mission Planner is used to plan and execute autonomous mission with a simple point-and-click waypoint entry on Google Maps or other custom WMS. And it is used to download and analyze the mission log files. It also allows the user to control the drone in first-person view. Geomapping is used for data collection to access the affected location which cannot be directly accessed by the rescue team. Mission Planner is used in automating the flight and collecting the data from various altitudes and angles. 2D image dataset is converted into 3D and mapped using open drone mapping. As the drone is automated using Mission Planner, the image overlap is only over 25%. Computer vision is used to map the flood water depth at each and every locality. This data will be very crucial to plan rescue operation to respond to the location which are likely to be affected the most. Object tracking is used to detect the victim during the rescue operation. The drone is incorporated with the AI technology to detect the person in the rescue operation. Object detection is carried out using Riolo architecture. 4K wide angle cameras with thermal and night vision are used to detect the victims in different circumstances. When a victim in an emergency is detected, the location is directed to the rescue team to put forth help. The drone also detects unexpected obstacles and reroutes to avoid collusion and improve future flight paths. Emergency goods supply is used to supply medicines and other goods as these are of extensive use during the disaster times. Mission planner is used in locating the destination where the emergency goods are to be delivered and the drone is directed to the location. It also helps the rescue team in locating where the food is to be delivered. Hive acts as a central processing unit to communicate with the drone and the mobile application. It is designed in a way that precision landing is enabled using Aruko markers. The drone is uniquely designed to reliably and safely land in Hive. In an emergency, detailed protocols ensure the drone lands and disarms safely. Once the drone lands in Hive, charging is automatic and rapid. Incremental charges are done in minutes. Make the process of surveillance user friendly, we have developed our mobile application Jarvis. Our application provides details about the status of the drone when it is in flight. Using the application, the user can turn on and start the drone for flight. Jarvis provides the details about the remaining flight time concerning the charge capacity and it also allows the user to switch between the flight modes, where the drone can be controlled both manually and autonomously. Jarvis allows the user to watch the live feed when the drone is in flight and also provides the details about the hive. It also provides the support for other applications like person tracking, object tracking and Aruko tracking. Jarvis also provides flight travel history. Let's consider an affected area. Rescue team first marks the area to automate the drone for autonomous surveillance. The data collected during the surveillance and the output live feed is streamed in the mobile application with which the rescue team is directed for the response mission. The location at which the emergency goods are to be supplied is marked with the help of Jarvis where the drone automates to the destination location and supplies the goods. The user can track a person or an object from the live feed. Rapid recharging is done in the hive using charging docks. Hive also acts as a central processing unit to communicate with the drone and the mobile application. Plan a path, perform the purpose and land safely back in the hive. 